guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we might like do a couple fun things. You guys have been asking me to do a video about my weight loss journey and overall health and I thought that the Nasty Gal try on reality versus like what you see online video was super fun to film and you guys seem to enjoy watching it. So I thought we'd kind of wrap that all into one. Um, and I definitely wanted to hit on my weight loss and posting some before and after pictures on Twitter, which I will put right here on the video. As you guys can see, when I was about to turn 30, which was in December, I was 154 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever been in my whole life. We'll go ahead and talk about the weight loss stuff, but let's go ahead and start with my health and my skin. As you guys can see, my skin has really cleared up, which has been so amazing. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about that. Um, this video is in partnership with Dermalogica, which you guys know I have been using since I was about 16 years old. They have some new active clearing products, which I wanna talk to you about because I started using them after I went and visited the Dermalogica headquarters and they have done some really, really rad things for my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture on the screen of what my skin looked like before versus now and as you can see i was just breaking out like all right here and skin my weight loss all of this has to do with stress and taking care of my body properly so they're all intertwined and it's they're they're all connected you can't just fix like i find i feel like you can't just fix one problem going through my separation i tend i, I was tending to eat a lot and eat my feelings i love food like i live for food and a corona so and then also just the stress of life, my relationship, my divorce, all of that was just really getting to me and I was getting hormonal breakouts. So this Dermalogica line is made to prevent breakouts, reduce the signs of premature aging in your skin, as well as clearing breakouts that are currently happening. So one product that I wanna talk about is a product that's actually, I asked when I was at Dermalogica, I've been using this um, on my skin. I use it about every other day. The Clearing Skin Wash. This is a product that you can actually use on your back too and your body if you have any back knee or any you know unwanted breakouts anywhere in your body. This is going to do the trick for you. I actually mix this with a daily exfoliant, a micro exfoliant. I was actually just using it right here in this area because this is where I was breaking out. So I was using this first. Hopefully this is super helpful for you guys because I did post this on my story the other day. A lot of you were like, what is the product? And I actually meant to post these items on my story, not sponsored, like, after and I just got super busy that day and totally forgot so my bad I'm sorry so this has been really great this is something that's not gonna dry out your skin the great part about these products too is they're designed to be good for sensitive skin but they they do the job without drying your skin out which is super key because a lot of acne products will really dry your skin out and it can be a little intense so this guy's really good for your body or you can even just spot treat like if you just want to like I did wash like the lower part of your face or maybe you're just breaking on your forehead this is gonna be really good for you next is the age bright clearing serum it looks like this this is like really cool packaging too this is a two-in-one serum I love serums um, what I like to do with my serums is I do the mosaic method where if I'm breaking out say I'm breaking out just here I'll use this serum on that part of my face and I'll use a different serum somewhere else I just love my serums you don't want to mix your serums um, it ruins their potency so this clears and helps prevent breakouts while reducing visible skin aging. And I've been using this um, every morning and every night and my skin has not dried out and I've seen a really great improvement. And as like this looks small, but it's lasted me quite a while. As you can see, it's only down to here. This has been working really, really, really well for me. This stuff is freaking awesome. And then the other thing that I've been using is um, the Age Bright Spot Fader. This is meant to reduce a breakout that's currently happening. So this twists around like this and the product comes out of here. I actually just use this on a little pimple I had over here and it was gone within like a day. And then it's also helping to fade the spot that an like acne or a pimple left 
previously, which is a big thing for me. I have a really hard time with that when I do have a breakout or a pimple, that spot tends to last a while. So this has been really helping me clear those spots. And my skin tone is like so much more even right now. I've just been like so happy with the results of these products because I was breaking out really bad along the jawline. I'll put a clip on the screen right now so you can see in one of my like latest videos that I just I just uploaded, but I did film it, you know, a, a while ago. Um, and I was breaking out quite a bit on the jawline and it was just like, it's not the end of the world, but it's not the most fun when your skin is not healthy and glowing. So I've been really, really grateful to these products. So I wanna share these with you guys because I know that a lot of you have been interested in what I've been using and I'm just like so pleased with the results. So that's it for skin. Those are the items that I've been using. If you do want to pick those up or try them at all, I will link them all in the description box for you below. Let's get into a bit of weight loss discussion. So for my birthday in December, I decided that like I was just gonna enjoy the month of December. We've got Christmas, we've got, well, it's not really, it's, yeah, New Year's is kind of in December, you know, and my birthday, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about being on a crazy diet. I'll, I'll do that in January. So the picture on the screen right now is from December 11th. This was the day before my birthday. As you can see, I am bloated, I am pudgy. I was really not happy with the way that I felt. I was tired. And and I was just frustrated because anytime I would put on gym clothes, I just felt like my fat rolls like hanging over the gym clothes and I would just get so frustrated. I didn't fit into a majority of my pants. I was just like, you know what? I have to take this back. I've got to take this fight back. I've got to do better. I don't feel good. Um, it's not always just about the way that you look, but sometimes it's just about, it's for you. You know, you want to feel good about the way that you look and, and feel. So my goal was to get back to my, the weight that I was when I was in my prime. Like when I was 20, Four to like 26 I'd say I was about 123 pounds and I was really lean I had a lot of I had muscle um, and I felt really good and I get it I'm in my 30s now so maybe we're not gonna get quite there but I'm really proud of what I've done so far I'm starting to get the tone back in my arms which was one thing I would not wear short sleeve shirts anymore I was so uncomfortable with the way that my arms looked in pictures and I just didn't like it. It was, I was like, that's not me. Who am I looking at right now? In January, I started a, it was a 12 week diet plan with a trainer who's really well known in the IFBB pro world and stuff. I'll leave his information in the description box below if you're interested. So he put me on a meal plan that I wish I could share with you, but I can't share it with you because it's proprietary information. And I signed a document saying I wouldn't share it with anybody. And that's his work that you have to pay for if you want it. It wasn't cheap. I got his meal plan and so it was a week check-in. So that photo where I only have the one sock on that I posted in this video and on Twitter, people are like, why do you only have one sock on? I only had one sock on because I was about to get in the shower and I was like, oh shit, I gotta take my picture for him because you have to send him a picture the day before your phone call with him. <laughs> so I had already taken one sock off and I like ran over and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take my picture right now. And that's why I only had one sock on, okay? I know, joke's on me, it looked ridiculous. So I got on this really strict diet plan and I saw this and I was like, whoa, I get one glass of wine a week. Um, and you know, it's meant to be a shredding program or like a, uh, fat cutting so it's it is intense I stuck to that for 12 weeks I did have a cheat day in there because I had already planned a taco night with some girlfriends of mine and so I didn't stick to it perfectly because I did travel a lot too which is why I'm not where I want to be yet but I'm I'm down to 137 pounds from 154 and I did that by doing six days a week of 40 minutes cardio I do uh, eight and a half um, incline on the treadmill at like 3.5 to 3.7 walking. And that would be, I'll just like binge watch a TV show and I weight training four to five days a week. Uh, I've had some people who follow me on Instagram who I'm friends with that message me, they're like, how did you do it? Really, it's about cleaning up your diet more than anything. Like as they say, a body is made in the kitchen and that's so true. Like what you eat accounts for like 70%, if not more of what your body looks like and how you feel. I also cut out gluten, soy, and dairy. 
Um, I didn't really eat a lot of dairy to begin with, but I was having toast and bagel thins and things like that. So I completely cut that out and I still pretty much have it cut out. I'm only eating those things on cheat days. I do one cheat meal per week where I go to dinner and I kind of eat what I want and I get dessert and stuff. I think it's all about moderation. It obviously depends on your goals. How you get there is up to you. You can, you can do a slower process or you can get really crazy with it. Some people just really like to get in there and they like to do hit cardio instead of like slower cardio. I freaking hate hit cardio. Although when I was in the best shape of my life, I did do a lot of hit cardio. So, you know, so it's up to you, but just know that there's so many resources out there for you to learn about what's in food. I also cut out eating out a lot because Eating out, restaurants are using really cheap ingredients for the most part. They're using a lot of oil, which has so much fat in it. Not the best ingredients, you know, pre-shredded cheeses that have cellulose and just like, they're not good for you. So I highly recommend like Forks Over Knives and some different documentaries. I'll link some in the description box below. I also started following Thomas DeLauer on YouTube and he has some really fantastic information just about mind, body, and soul, and connecting that to your fitness and you know your health goals in general. I also use the app Chronometer to track what I eat in a day. You can actually scan little barcodes and things like that. That's essentially what I've done to drop from 154 to 137. My goal is 125. So I have 12 more pounds to lose, and I'm currently plateauing right now, I've noticed. So I have to switch things up. You just have to switch things up on your body and see what it likes. Um, I've been drinking tons of water. You guys have probably seen my gallon jug on Instagram. It's a little crazy, but I love it. In a nutshell, that's basically what I've been doing to lose weight, and I think you just have to get your ass out the door and to the gym. I feel so much better mentally and physically after I've done my workout. That's saying a lot. Like if you can make yourself better and make your state of mind better and make you make yourself feel better from the inside out, I think that's really, really key. And you need to just learn to love yourself. Love yourself during the process because picking on yourself and how you talk to yourself inside your head is really important and it does affect you. I'm not trying to get too preachy, but I just wanna inspire you guys to Take that step and like, it's scary. Yeah, being, you know, it can be scary being in the gym, but the truth is no one's looking at you. They're they're focusing on their own workout and they're probably staring at themselves in the mirror and like doing their own thing. So don't worry about other people, do you? Don't be ashamed of taking what you want for your life. You know what I mean? Like go to the gym and do it. Fuck what everyone else thinks. Who cares if someone's staring at you? Like you're gonna let them staring at you prevent you from being the best version of yourself and feeling good? I don't think so. Nobody is worth that. So get out there. Do your thing. I hope that was somewhat inspiring and helpful. If you guys have any specific comments or questions, leave them in the description box. I mean, the comments, not the description box. I will answer everything that I possibly can there. So moving into the part of this video you all have been waiting for, we, uh, we're gonna try on some different things that I got from Fashion Nova. I have an eyelash in my eye. Oh, please. So this is everything that I got. I got something extra that I didn't actually buy, so we'll go through this, but here is my order right here. So I'm gonna be going through this, trying each of these on. I have some like one pieces that I'm like really interested to see how these are gonna look because they might look insane. Like I might look like freaking, what's that one dude that has the curly hair that would dance around and do all the workout videos? I might look like that, we're gonna see. But I spent $238.95 um, $13.30 of that was CA state tax. And then I have a county tax and two special taxes added on here. I have no idea what that's about. And then I also saved $95 by using the discount code Cardi B, which saved me 30%. Maybe that code will still be usable. I will leave some codes that I find in the description box below in case you guys want to try anything. Oh my gosh, that shit is still in my eye. Every time something gets in my eye, it makes me want to rip my eyelashes off immediately. The Fashion Nova used to be like a really kind of crappy brand. Like when I first got sent products by them, um, we had trouble communicating because their English wasn't super great. And so that was a little bit of a, of a hurdle. And they'd sent me a pro like a bag of stuff. And like, I would say 90% of it was just not great, like the fit was off. I haven't really ordered a whole lot from them since then. We're gonna try these out and see. As I was looking at them, some of them look like they're gonna be too big even though I followed the size chart perfectly. So let's go through it. I'm gonna tell you the sizes, price, and how it looks compared to me versus the model. Let's do it. So this is the Give Me Looks jumpsuit 
and it has these little crisscrosses in the back and this was $17 and 49 cents. It looks real good on the model. Let's see how this bad boy looks on Kristen. Wow. Okay. Um, so you can see my whole choach, my whole taco is just like, like I'm looking in the mirror over here right now and I can see like my entire little tchotchke. It's really comfortable. Like I, I could wear this around the house for sure. Like this could be my like feeding suit for cheat day. So I could just be like, Ooh. I don't know. I just feel like you couldn't wear this in the gym. I feel like a porn star. Like my nipples are showing and my little taco. You wanna see? You wanna see my taco? Just, can you look at it? It fits pretty well though. I got a medium and now for some reason this on, is on their website is $24.98. So I feel like it's one of those sites where they just kind of always change up the pricing. Um, I like that this covers the little arm like fat deposit area because usually it's like this and I hate that. It's like really extra. It's like so extra, I feel like. So extra. So this is the, these are two separate pieces that you purchase separately. The leggings were $13.99, this was $10.49. Do like the way that this looks. I would totally wear this to the gym. Um, it has some little pockets right here, which is pretty cute. So you can fit like a phone or something in there. I did get some of my fake tan on this right here, which is really annoying. This is 90% um, polyester. This is what the bottoms look like. So I kind of thought this might be more see-through. Let's squat and see. I have a tattoo on my butt right here. So it's slightly see-through, but I would still wear it to the gym. Um, I wish this was just a tiny bit bigger. Overall, I think this is pretty cute. I like that there's like not a whole lot of belly space because I don't really like to have like my belly hanging out at the gym. My taco is fine since there's a seam here. There's like no taco action, you know? It's pretty good, so. Oh my goodness, this is a disaster. <laughs> Itty bitty titty committee, this is not for you. Skip ahead. <laughs> it's got these like little like buckle things right here which are really cute. And I love the design, I think it's like really cool. Can't fill this out, I have nibble pasties on so don't worry. You're not gonna catch any glimpse of anything. This is just not cute. It's like, hey, I'm flat. So the top, this is called the Working Hard Bra Top and it was $16.09 and then the leggings were $20.99 and they're also called the Working Hard Legging. This fits really poorly. It's like, it's like saggy crotch. I bought this top in a small based on the measurements and I also got these in a medium. Cute idea, not executed well. I think I'm gonna send these back for sure. This is really cute. It's a little tight in the legs. This is a medium and it was $12.99. And it is so soft. Like, I just wanna feel myself. I think this fits pretty well. It's really comfortable. Would I wear this at the gym? Maybe. Super form fitting and super comfortable. I think it's kind of like cute as like a daytime outfit even. I don't even know. Maybe if you wear it with the right shoes. So far, I like, think I'll keep everything except for that blue thing. The first blue one was just like. So here is, it's called Stenna, the track three piece set in black. They have it in a couple different shades. So this is a piece, this is a piece, and then the pants are a piece. It definitely feels cheap. Like if I were sweating in this, I think I'd be uncomfortable because just putting it on right now, it feels uncomfortable. It's made out of polyester. So polyester makes you sweat. Like it's not very breathable. Personally, I wouldn't really wear polyester things to the gym much. This is what the pants look like. They're just kind of whatever. Um, they come up really high. This is a little tight in the armpit area. It's not super comfortable, but I mean, it is an interesting design, but I'm gonna say that this looks like 100,000 times better on the model on the website than it does on me. <laughs> so I don't know, this is just super uncomfortable. I don't know, this feels weird. I'm up here. so. This is the Looking Fresh Lounge set. I paid $24.49 for this. It's basically like windbreaker material. Um, this looks fabulous on the model and it looks like a trash bag on me. I feel like a little old lady with a visor that's about to go play bingo or something. I'm not hating on bingo, I fucking love bingo. But like this is just really big and this is a medium. So like maybe if it was like a lot tighter, it could be kind of cute, but it looks like so good on her. She like just looks so fashionable and chic. Deep pockets, that's nice. This is a real pocket. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. I need a size smaller for sure. I would never 
in a million years wear this to the gym and it zips all the way down. I like how bright it is. I like the concept. Um, the camera is actually not even picking up quite how bright this is. It is like glowing neon. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, no. First look, it looks like it could be kind of cute. Okay, this set is really cute in theory. It is insane how see-through this is. Like, I don't know if it shows up on camera. Can you see all my tattoos through this? Because I could. This is the back and it's just like the tattoos are just showing right through it. These don't lay very well. Like, I don't know how they got these so perfect on the model on the website, but I feel like one wash of these would just be like super messed up. This is like, this is a medium as well. And I paid $24.99 for it. Um, it's really cute in theory. Like maybe you could get some pictures in it or something, but so I would definitely buy this from a more expensive company that made it because I love this. I think it's super, the design is so cute for the gym. I would totally wear it, but not this one. I can just see two circles right here. <laughs> Next we have, um, oh, it has like a little pocket in here for like your headphones or something. That's kind of cool. I paid $9.09 .09 for these leggings. This is the Anastasia uh, high neck sports bra and then the Anastasia high rise leggings. Um, the sports bra was, the same price, $9.09. .09. If you can see, this has like some of these little things. It's a little looser in this area than I like. Pretty comfortable. I mean, these are stretchy, so that's kind of weird. Overall, I'm like kind of shocked that these are $9. I would say that this set feels better made than most anything I've put on so far. Back is pretty cute of this. I like this a lot. The inside is a little weird because the inside is like mesh. I think I would wear this outfit to the gym. I would obviously wear a shirt over top. I don't like this much skin showing for me right now. This one's not too bad. This is the Cassie Crop hoodie, also $9.09. .09. It looks like this. I just thought it'd be cute because like I always like to wear little sweaters to the gym because um, usually I go in the morning when it's kind of cold. Um, by the way, this is all a medium, 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 medium. This is cute. I like this. I feel like you would wear this like in San Diego to like a beach bonfire or something. Um, but this is cute. You could wear it to the gym too. I like the way that it looks. I think the sizing is good. Here we have the Looking Fresh Lounge Set. This is a little too tight for me, as you can see. I paid $24.49 for the set. Um, it is a medium and I look crazy, I look like a Martian. I mean, the pants and stuff are a cool idea. Fun idea, just not executed super well again. This is just so way too tight here for, for this. Like they all fit so differently. So kind of cool in theory, not so cool on or in reality. <laughs> I must not have looked at all these pictures cause she kind of doesn't look very good in this either. <laughs> Nobody looks good in it, surprise. Okay, so that was actually the last outfit, but I did get one thing that I didn't actually pay for. So I don't know how much this is or whatever, but it's kind of nice. It's just like a little um, top that has some mesh and stuff. So I'm gonna keep this for when I'm going to the gym. I like this, but oh, this is like itching me too. <gasps> um, so I don't know where this came from. I just got an extra one thrown in here. I didn't buy this, so. Ugh. So that's, uh, that's the end of this video. Overall thoughts on these items. I thought, they, I thought they were going to be worse, but I also thought my nipples would be covered more. <laughs> With that being said, I don't think I'd really wear any of these to the gym, simply because I really, I'm kind of weird about sweat being absorbed. Like I can't stand when it's, um, it's like not being absorbed by the clothing. So I like, different fabrics. I'm trying to think of what my like Lululemons and some of those ones are made out of. You don't have to spend that much to get good fabric. I'm not saying that because I actually have another video coming out where I'm going to be testing some um, Amazon leggings. So if you're excited to see that one, give this a thumbs up so I know that you like this type of video. But overall, like I guess it just depends on what you want to spend and what you're using it for. I don't think I'll ever buy Fashion Nova Fitness again unless they maybe make it a tiny bit more expensive and make the stuff just a little bit better. Now I have experienced some Fashion Nova clothing that's actually cute and works pretty well. So I think that maybe it's just harder to make fitness clothes. This has one review and it's five stars. I swear it's the people that work at Fashion Nova because I'm not sure who put this on and was like, I look 
I look real good. That's all I have to say. I'm done. We're done here. Goodbye, you guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Also, I meant to say that this outfit smells like freaking glue. I have no idea. The moment I pulled it, I was like, that's not a good sign.